On April 22nd, U.S. two-year Treasury yield stood at 2.67%, and the Fed had just begun raising the Fed funds rate, having hiked 25 basis points at the previous meeting. But at the time, the market fully believed that the Fed was embarking on an aggressive hiking path as the CME FedWatch tool priced in a 39% chance that the Fed funds rate would be at 3.5% or better by the July 2023 meeting. Now, something has changed since then, and now the market is pricing in an only 4% chance that the Fed funds rate will be 3.5% or higher at the July 2023 meeting. And the two-year yields appear to have stopped their aggressive seven-month rally that began in early fall of 2021. Even Fed rhetoric has begun to soften as Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic said in a recent speech that a pause in September might make sense. Now on its surface, that appears to be a benign comment as theoretically the Fed is data dependent, but the market seems to take notice when they say it at a planned event. Now if a trader believes that the recent stabilization in the two years is a precursor to a further fall in Fed expectations and in short in yields, they could express that by selling the June micro two-year Treasury yield futures contract at 2.56 and targeting April lows of 2.25. A stop for this trade could be placed at new recent highs at 2.80. This could make $310 if your target is reached and risks $240 if you're stopped out of your level. Now, if a trader believes that rates are pausing before a continuation higher, perhaps on concerns that inflation is a long way from being contained, they could express that by buying the June micro two-year Treasury yield futures contract at 2.56, and targeting the highs from 2018 at 2.94. A stop for this trade could be placed at 2.40. This trade would make $380 if your target is reached and risks $160 if you're stopped out of your level.